Okay, um, today is uh, June 19 in the year 2015 and uh, I'm here in Tokyo having my car um, done up, uh, added a little, gonna add a little performance uh, upgrade to the car and I'm actually downtown Tokyo in this uh, Type 1 workshop which is basically the Spoon Workshop. And if you don't know about Spoon, it's a tuning company that's famous for tuning Honda cars. And basically, I have my car here today <coughs> um, to add a little performance uh, part. And the part I'm adding to the car is actually the rigid color. Basically, it's an uh, aluminum color that uh, I'll be adding to the car. And basically, the aluminum color will allow the subframe of the car to be snugly bolted onto the main frame of the car. And because uh, the WRX is also a production car, uh, there are a lot of um, tolerances uh, between the subframe and the main frame. So, um, you know, that little gap between the subframe and mainframe and the bolt goes in, uh, it kind of makes the chassis a little loose. So adding this rigid collar, this aluminum plate, will kind of strengthen up the body of the car. So yeah, basically that's the performance part that I'm adding to my car. And then on the bottom here you can see I have the Fujitsu exhaust fitted onto my car. And um, basically, this is the workshop again. And those are the stuff that's gonna, you know, do on my car. And let me just show you the showroom on the outside, uh, on the second floor. And that's the Honda S2000 outside here. And then going up the stairs. It's raining and I don't have an umbrella with me, so it's kind of a bummer that I have to do this in the rain, but uh, whatever, let's just get it going. Okay, okay, going inside here, basically this is the second floor of the Spoon Type 1 workshop. Uh, once again, Spoon is basically a specialized tuning company for Honda cars and uh, they're really popular here in Japan. I, I do believe we're right too. You can see the uh, you know signature yellow and blue design, and this is a complete race car, the S2K. You can see what's inside the AP1, I think. <clears throat> and then uh, that's the Accord URR, and that's the NSX there. And it seems like the NSX is being stripped down. Wow. <laughs> And then going the inside there, Achua. another red NSX, very stock. And then on the top, you have the Civic, um, what is that, EG series, and then the Honda Civic EK series. And then on the back, uh, the Honda CRZ, and all these are race cars, spoon race cars. And that's the latest uh, Honda S660 sports car. It was just launched in Japan not long. And the Spoon uh, trademark logo of the Japanese, um, what is that, Tsuru, Japanese uh, crane. Bumpers for the car, Honda VTEC engine covers, and some other um, cars. and stuff in the back a really nice looking Honda Civic no Honda Accord Euro R another EK9 here <clears throat> EK9 is one of those cars that I used to like and this one is a Honda Fit RS tuned by Spoon <laughs> okay uh, racing seats I think okay so basically this is a short tour of the Honda Spoon um, workshop and uh, I'm just going to go downstairs and um, 
check out my car a little more in this rain. <coughs> Okay. Okay, open up the door. Come on. Okay, basically, they just remove the front under panel cover, <clears throat> and then they're gonna remove the bolts that are mounting the subframe to the main frame. <clears throat> Okay, basically this part here, I'm actually recording the audio in post-production because um, well, while I was recording the video um, on the actual day and uh, recording the audio on a separate um, Rode mic and on my own iPhone 4 um, with the Rode app, it kind of like stopped recording so you know I got to do this in post-production but basically um, these are the two bolts that um, holds the front subframe to the main frame and uh, basically the front and the rear uh, subframe are held together onto the main frame via four bolts and I think the front one are uh, slightly bigger than the the rear bolt because you know the, the because of the weight of the engine or something so basically um, what this rigid collar does is that okay um, Never mind. Okay, basically the staff here is he's trying to explain to me that um, in all production cars uh, that are being manufactured on you know this mass production lines, the subframe is usually mounted onto the main frame together with the engine and everything you know in the, on the the four wheel drive and the chassis and everything to ease the production the gap the allowance um, where the bolts go in is usually made bigger so you know this to to ease. Um, production to you know to facilitate or to you know help smooth it out production so basically there's like a two millimeter gap allowance um, where the bolt goes in so what happens is even if you tighten out the the bolt all the way the main frame is still not completely attached to the subframe because of this allowance so basically what the rigid color does is that um, is this really thin aluminum plate that gets sandwiched into this um, little gap and when you tie the bolt down um, basically this aluminum plate get de gets deformed and uh, it kind of stops all the, the movement by filling up the gap so um, basically this is the, the what the rigid car looks like after it has been fitted into the, the subframe and bolted on to the main frame this is the the front um, section, and then um, he's now tying down the getting the final adjust fi getting the final adjustment down to the um, front, and then um, you know there's the the back as well. Um, this is one of the arms that holds the back subframe to the mainframe, and um, Basically, he has to remove this bolt to fit in the rigid collar, and on the the other side, and this is the other bolt that's holding on the subframe to the main frame, and this is in the rear of the car. And on this side, um, as you can see the bolt is being removed, and you can see that white two millimeter, maybe three, maybe four. I don't know the gap right there. So yeah, the rigid collar will kind of eliminate that gap. And this is what happens when the, you know, the bolt and everything, the lower arm is being removed. So, um, yeah, once again, thanks for checking out my videos and uh, I'll see you guys soon. And take care and drive safe.